Hello, I'm Chris Bramley, editor of BBC Sky at Night magazine, and we're here at the Royal Observatory Greenwich in London for the Astronomy Photographer of the Year 2013 awards. I think it's a brilliant way of getting people excited about astronomy. Some of us, we already love astronomy, we're excited about space, we, we know a little bit about it. Um, but for some people, it's a completely closed book, but these images open that, that window onto the universe. They're beautiful, they're engaging, they make people think, what is that? You know, they want to know more about it. So I think we should never underestimate the power of a beautiful picture to get someone interested in the science. As my first year as a judge, I found it quite enthralling. The quality of the pictures that came through were gobsmacking. I mean, I see lots of images, and mainly taken from professional telescopes. And so I was amazed at the quality that the amateurs are producing, and quite envious, I must confess. Well, the images were absolutely spellbinding. They really were. And to see them in the planetarium, it was as though you could step into the images themselves and just sort of live the atmosphere of it. I think Mark G's image is so fantastic because of the fact you've got the Milky Way arching out into space and you've also got that lighthouse shining the light out across the sea. So it's like um, both are leading you out into the unknown. Perhaps it's a, the start of man's adventure out into the stars, I don't know. But that's what it, it feels like to me. Apart from the winning image, I think my favourite one would be the, the picture of the halos around the moon, because I look at that and it just makes me feel cold looking at it. I was really struck by um, Goodbye Sun, Hello Moon, which really captured for me the beauty of, and the changing nature of the night sky, with the moon on the left and the setting sun on the right-hand side. Also capturing the belt of Venus, which is the little shadow of the Earth going around just above the horizon around the San Francisco Bay. It's a beautiful image and even more amazing that it was captured by a 10-year-old. Fantastic. This particular image of Saturn was actually taken from Mount Olympus on Cyprus, which is actually the highest point of the island. And I specifically drove up there to, uh, in hope of getting some really good weather conditions to, to photograph Saturn. And as luck would have it, uh, it was a nice, cool April evening, and uh, uh, yeah, I was very lucky and was able to get some really good shots of Saturn using my 14-inch uh, telescope. I think what I like so much about a lot of the deep space images is the fact that we're seeing some of these objects, but in a completely different light. So we've got the M81 and M82 image over here, which shows the incredible integrated flux nebula behind the galaxies and around the galaxies. And also, if you look at this image of NGC 253, if you look in the background, you can actually see some of the faint background galaxies and the tiny little smudges of light, and they're galaxies in themselves. So these images open up a huge perspective on the universe, which I think is absolutely stunning. Yeah, my shortlist image was an image of the Pelican Nebula, and it showed the, the jets which are produced by protostars, which are igniting in the nebula, and they're quite nice to see. You can really see the jets pulling out of the nebula, so it's quite interesting. As you can tell from the picture, it's like clouds everywhere, and that, that was what it was like in the morning. It was. Uh, clouds from about 2 a.m. when I got there to about 6 a.m. when the transit actually started and the sun just appeared through the clouds just for a few seconds for me to grab that shot and then it pretty much disappeared again as the Venus left the sun. It's a fantastic, fantastic way of getting people into astronomy uh, and astrophotography because when you see those pictures you can't help but be really inspired by them and wonder how you would capture some sort of image like that yourself or you'd want to go and visit those kind of places, see those kind of sites, just experience what it's like just to have uh, the Milky Way so bright it might even cast your shadow. I mean, that's why I love astronomy.